Yo so, I'm Shiroi and this is the anime kill count where we count the kills mainly in anime. Today, we're breaking down the kills in Redoop Healer, released in the winter of 2021. Redoop Healer is a Japanese light novel series written by Rui Sukiyo and illustrated by Shion Konbu. There is also a manga adaptation with art by Sukin Haga. The anime television series adaptation was animated by TNK and directed by Takoya Asauka, with Kazuyuki Pudeyasu handling the series composition and John Jigoto designing the characters. The opening theme song is Cruel Dreams and Sleep, performed by Minami Kurebayashi, while the ending theme is If You Can Change the World in a Dream, performed by Arcana Project. There are three different versions of the anime with innovative names, a censored broadcast version, a streaming exclusive redo version, and an uncensored complete recovery version. This anime follows Kiaru, who is exploited and sexually abused repeatedly by others due to being a healing magician, notices what lays beyond just his healing magic, and is convinced that a healing magician is the strongest class in the world. However, by the time he realizes his own potential, he is already deprived of everything. Thus, using his healing magic, enhanced by the magic-enhancing properties of the Philosopher's Stone on the world itself, he goes back four years into the past, deciding to redo everything and get revenge on the ones who abused him. The show is depraved and utterly explicit. It's kind of hard to watch when these characters keep screwing like horny rabbits. The main character in this anime is overpowered. I usually dislike main characters that are overpowered. But Kearu on the other hand has character that are lacking from most overpowered protagonists. I didn't expect this anime would actually give me a good watch. You know what else I didn't expect from it? The abundant amount of kills. Let's see how many died in this anime and count them up. その宝石は魔王の呪いがかけられていて危険です。それは。見事だ。花で。決戦か。刹那の復讐だから俺は存分に力を振るえぬあれは刹那かフレアがいなくなったところでこの国は代わりをいくらでも生み出すだろう俺が本当に復讐するべきはこの国自身だ やはり兵糧族の村を襲った生き残りの脱走兵か残念だったなお前は敵前逃亡の罪で死刑だヒール俺は思うんだ他人にひどいことができるのは他人の痛みがわからないからだって弱者の痛みと恐怖思い知れお願い悪かった助けてください助けてやめろ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh no, 
礼だなまるで人を異常者みたいもう死んでもらうしかないじゃないかキープお前たちは最初から全員殺すつもりだったんだなお,お前たちやめろ死ねえ残念ヒール目が覚めたかなジェ時間がないから始めようか始める死んだか軍がこの地にはびこる魔族を根絶し再びここブラニッカを人類の領土とすることを宣言しますなるほどその剣士というのが癒しの勇者ケイアルご名答どうやってここに普通に正面からだが There's a total of 356 kills in Redo Peeler. The kills consist of 204 males, 22 females, 45 demons, 8 demi-humans, and 77 undetermined genders. With a total of 12 episodes and a combined runtime of 288 minutes, Redo Peeler left us a kill on average every 1.24 minutes. I'll give the Kinkatana to Blade. Her death is my most favorite in the entire series. Plus, for me, it's the best revenge that Kiaro enacted. The Shabby Kunai will go to Ana. I didn't like the way she quickly moved her head and made me confused whether she died or just passed out. And that concludes Redo Peeler anime kill count. To be honest, I didn't expect this many kills in a borderline age anime. The animation is decent, especially when the fight scenes occur and the storyline is well written. This anime has a good ending with Kiaro achieving his revenge. That is all. Sayonara.